Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm here with Dr. Patrick Mwamba and we're gonna be looking at what's gonna happen with my hair transplant surgery today. I have some kind of specific things I wanted to show Dr. Mwamba and wanna get his thoughts on, so. Hey, uh, hi David, how are you? Hey, everybody. So here today we, ha we have David and uh, as you can see, he already shaved his head and uh, He's going to tell us a little bit because, of course, he had many surgeries before. And uh, he's going to tell us uh, today what specific he wants. Because, as you can see, this is kind of a very detailed work. And uh, as I say, like in hair transplant, at a certain point, we have to fine-tune like a specific area where we will tackle. And the choice of the graph, the choice of how we're going to proceed is what makes like like what I would say like the ice on the cake. So yep. David will explain a little bit uh, what he has to do today. Totally, yeah. I feel like we're kind of on the ice on the cake, kind of starting to get to that level. So when I'm combing my hair, there is one spot that you guys, if you're looking here, it might be difficult to see over the camera, but there's kind of one spot right here behind my hairline that I would say is the number one spot that that kind of bothers me when I'm working on my hair is that I'll, I'll sort of do a comb like that way or this way. And there's always like a, just a little bit of like empty spot right there. So that's one. Um, also right over here along my hairline on the left side, it's just a little bit thinner than it is on some of the other spots. You're the hairline expert, but I think, you know, people don't realize who have, are having these surgeries that hairlines are like, so important like it's like in it's so complicated a hairline because it's not just you know it being like in the right spot like of course that's really important but then after that once you get to that fine tuning level you've got like you know how thick each individual hair is there and then and then how how closely packed it is together mine looks pretty good when i'm when you know i'm combing my hair but still it's not at that like natural level you know mm -hmm. um I think, yeah, most people wouldn't know, but me, I can look at it, you know, as seeing lots of hair transplants and I know, and, um, and the hair hairline is so important as well for like how thick it is because it's sort of like that, the trees that make up the beginning of the forest. And if the trees are really thick, then like the whole forest looks like it's very dense, it's very you know? Dense, definitely, yeah. Yeah. And so I think, you know, any denser we could make it would be awesome. Um, if, if we don't as well, I think it's okay. I'm, I'm still pretty happy with it. But for me, it's kind of like, like because I've had so many surgeries, there's sort of all over my head, just little places where like, it's a little bit thinner than other areas. Uh, yeah. Definitely, when I look at closely, you will see like here, especially the spot like you, you mentioned, mm. you will see like you have those big groups of hair that mix that. But we can see like, if someone feel like my finger, you can see like those empty spots now. And I think like right now you can really see them, especially with the short hair, and we can really circle the area. And I think if we make it look more, it will be more homogeneous because here it looks really perfect, this area. And I think this is what we'll have to achieve this in this area here. So you have like that, I will say rectangle here, that is very important. And then what is more subtle, it's here, because everything looks pretty much equal, but by comparing here, I think in this area, it's a little bit thicker. Yeah. So we have to add, and uh, that's what I, I understand when you say like this area looks a little bit thin, but it's like the hair, as you say, is not the same caliber as here. Yeah. So you can see them like all line up, but I think that also, we will have to look at uh, the, the the hair to add to make that more dense. Mm. It will be more than numb, but here it will be definitely a huge difference because here you yeah. can really see. Let's see, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, there's also, it's it's hard to see. It's actually weird. It shows up less with the short hair, but there, when I'm combing my hair, there's this mm -hmm. spot like right behind there that always is like weird when I'm combing and it's like, it's like there's kind of, I think it's mainly the difference between the real the hair, donor area. the donor area, and that, and yeah. Like what my finger is. Yep, exactly. Yeah, there's this almost like little finger space, and so it makes it like more difficult when I'm combing my hair because it, it feels like it's certainly this harsh transition 
into that. Even though when I'm looking at it, it doesn't look that empty, but actually because of the transition. The transition, yeah. Yeah. So it's some of those kind of transitional areas, I think. How does how is my crown looking? What's that looking like to you? That's always been a, a trouble spot, but the crown uh, yeah, if you have back like this. The the crown for you looks good, but there is like the spot. The yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. There is that spot here that mm -hmm. I think maybe we have to, to review a little bit. Okay. Because I see here like the hair coming pretty much in a good line. But here, there's like, as you say, it's always about a transition between yeah. here and there that I feel like uh, you have that crescent here, like crescent moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That I think uh, still looks a little bit, uh, you see hair everywhere, but I will definitely say like, you see here in the middle, vert lower vertex here, mm -hmm. that need maybe to be addressed and a little bit in here create a little bit more of the density like uh, I will say yeah but I think like with long hair it, it gets a little bit coverage but definitely you can uh, pinpoint the area where uh, we can add a little bit cool yeah I'm, I'm kind of looking I, I think mm. like in your case it's, as you say it's like some it's it, it's 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 like a little yeah. bit everywhere. Yeah. There's almost like this just every now and again. There's like this little unhomogenized sort of zone. So I feel like if I could just get it all just a little more homogenized, that it's gonna kind of take yeah. it to the next level, you know? Yeah, I, I totally agree. And this is also cool because with like shaved hair like this, mm. we can really see exactly where there is like the missing. And especially we we can take some picture also with the proscope that can show really. Uh, really nice uh, density and spot that we can uh, we can tackle. Yeah, I shaved everything for you, Dr. Mom. I never yeah. do this. Like, I, I always have a beard. I, I never, <laughs> but today I was like, okay, I'm going full on Lex Luthor, like, because I want you to be able to do anything do that you like, need yeah. to do anywhere you want to take hair from. I'm just going to shave it just like I'm a blank canvas. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. I, and I will say that would be very cool so we can really, really go and uh, and do whatever we want to to kind of homogenize everything because i think that's that's the key here is like to bring it to a level where you know like the spot like this everything is filled up mm. brilliant very yeah. exciting i'm excited to do this awesome guys well stay tuned for the full surgical video and uh, a couple more videos i'm going to do with dr patrick mwamba i'm excited to get your take okay. on okay we'll see you around